Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. And this video is a response to a question uh, from uh, a client. Uh, her name is Georgia, asking what sex bolts are and what they're used for and what their common purposes are, what applications it would be used for, uh, etc. Sex bolt is, a, in my experience, a fairly generic term that means uh, that it is a bolt system that can be used in a variety of different sorts of applications for a variety of different sorts of hardware um, to perform the job of attaching something to something else. That's the generic sense. There is a variety of different sex bolts and different terms used interchangeably when it, sex bolt is being referred to. Uh, sex bolt is the common term that I uh, would use to know it as it applies to our industry, the door hardware industry, um, it, they are also uh, known as, I've heard them referred to as mating screws, uh, sh uh, Chicago bolts, architectural bolts, uh, binding posts. Uh, I've also know them to be called uh, loosely, while I understand that they have different uh, meanings specifically per the application. Uh, there is a variety of items that come under the term architectural sex bolt or sex bolt. Variations there uh, referring to uh, a company that I like to use uh, a lot uh, because they work well, they're very efficient, is McMaster Carr. Um, they have sex bolts known as binding posts, um, you know, variety of different binding posts, uh, binding posts for, for different sorts of applications, binding posts made of, of uh, different materials, aluminum, stainless, plastic as well. Uh, they also have under their sex bolt, uh, sex bolt heading a variety of uh, sex bolts. When you search sex bolt, you're going to come up with binding post. Uh, I don't know the technical term how binding post uh, changes because it's outside of our industry. Uh, that term uh, is a bit from and I'd like to begin to answer the question by referring to Wikipedia. Their entry on sex bolt is, I, I couldn't say it any better, and I, I'm going to say it now. A sex bolt is known as a barrel nut, and that is a, a, a an apt term to use because you do get the idea that the word barrel uh, kind of applies, and I'm getting one here. So it kind of looks like a barrel. Or Chicago screw or post and screw is a uh, is a type of fastener, barrel shaped flange, protruding boss that is internally threaded. The boss, which is this section here, sits within the component that is being fastened, or whatever is being fastened to it, it sits within that component. And the flange outside here. provides the bearing surface. The sex bolt is accompanied with the machine screw and typically sits flush on the opposite side of the surface being uh, uh, fastened. It is normally chosen because of its low profile compared to other nuts. I'm going to deviate from their definition there a little bit. It's often chosen uh, because of its low profile. Sure, absolutely. But in our industry, in the door hardware industry, it's chosen specifically to provide a correct means of attaching something, typically, to a door. Okay, You might have a piece of hardware that's surface mounted. The substrate of what the hardware is being attached to may be completely incompatible with attaching a screw to, ne uh, you know, therefore requiring the need of a sex bolt. Here is an example of that, the most common example. A door closer, a surface mounted rectangular body, hydraulic fluid filled body with valves is going to attach to the face of a wood door. Now you think, okay, wood, that's okay, but what if it's a fire rated wood door where it's full of a uh, mineral core, a very dense, chalky, dusty material that is used in the construction of fire doors because it's basically not combustible. There's nothing for the threads 
of a typical screw, and this is a package of screws outside uh, from a door closer, a screw like this to attach to, this would literally tear out of the door within the first five uses, most likely, of a door closer attached to a door that has a core made of, of, of uh, a mineral core uh, construction. The sex bolt obviously bolts through the door at that point. This is the bolt that's going to go through the closer body. The female portion comes from the opposite side and that threads together, clamping the item to the door itself. However, it's also used because of its other uh, innate uh, strength the specific length of this boss or body or barrel shape is directly related to the thickness of the door. You can see that that is about 1 and 11 sixteenths from underside of the head. If you were to get inside of the door itself and measure the distance between the two pieces of steel or wood, you would find that distance to be about an inch, 1 and 11 sixteenths, something very close to that. Well, measured from the outside of one face to the inside of the other face. I've said that. I've said that wrong. It's not the inside distance. It's it's the inside distance plus the thickness of one face, whether it's wood or steel. When you install a piece of hardware, a door closer, a hinge, an exit device, a a mail slot, like a mail slot you put mail through. When you tighten the screw down. It draws the two pieces together. At a certain point, this shoulder of the boss is going to hit the inside of the other face so that you tighten the screw and it's tight, but it prevents the crushing in, the crushing in of the door itself from over tightening. That's a very important aspect of this. You could have a steel door that does not have a closer reinforcement, or you could have a hollow core door with a light duty door closer, a bathroom and a restaurant, hollow core door. You could tighten it down just with your hand strength and cru begin to crush the face of the door. However, this is going to, the closure body is here, you tighten it, it's going to be on the face of the door and then the inside face of that door is going to touch this, keeping it nice and strong and that makes a very solid installation. Now continuing, the sex bolt often has a built-in feature such as a slot to aid in tightening the fastener. Sure, there are different ones that don't really apply to us that could have a slot here, you'll see it in a binding post, or an Allen wrench system, or in our case, here comes the next part. Some sex bolts, more commonly known as architectural bolts, have knurled barrels like this, like this one, to allow in a one-sided assembly. Okay, so when you get this into your steel door, it's not going to be very uh, prone to 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 turning as you tighten the bolt because of that knurling aspect to it. Okay, knurling is just a, a feature to something that you know you've taken it and you've grooved it somehow. Okay, it's not necessary to have the whole body knurled; only what's going to make contact with the face of the door. Binding posts are similar to architectural bolts or sex bolts in that they are designed to be assembled from one side, but have teeth on the flanged surface to keep them fixed. So. On the inside of here, there could be some grooving or, or teeth or flanging. They were originally designed for the printing industry to bind large catalogs together. Well, that makes sense. You could have, you know, a thick stack of paper, a catalog with holes in it, and then you can use a binding post to go through that and tighten it all down. That's from Wikipedia, and uh, that would serve as a footnote to the fact that I, I, I borrowed that definition and used it. Um, so bringing this video to conclusion. In our industry, in the door hardware industry, you've got just variations on the material. This is the female side to what you would have in a door closer. Okay, Everything like I just showed you, low profile on the opposite side. Okay, Your door closer may include sex bolts or through bolts, and it most likely will not. Do not assume that it will, because don't assume it will, because it may it probably won't. But sometimes they do come with, and they will come with if you specifically request your piece of hardware to be included in it. 
your your closer will get machine in the event of a, in, in the instance of a closer you'll have a machine screw here that goes through the body of the closer and this is just the generic example every door closer has a different bolt okay and that is the the most common situation that I see sack bolts for door closers you could also have like I had shown you just a moment ago the same sort of system but with a smaller that's quarter 20 by the way for a door closer typically quarter 20 is the thread size something much smaller if you were going to through bolt a, an exit device to a door in through bolting it in my opinion it's always the preferred method to attach something drilling and tapping if the door is properly reinforced is certainly acceptable but you'll have a smaller thread here maybe a 1032 a 1224 whatever the case might be now continue and, and these are just examples that I just literally pulled off the shelf in my warehouse before making this video you could go even with a smaller albeit less common application of sex bolts and these are literally called sex bolts here is a sex bolt for a mail slot very small 832 thread a very unique style to the barrel end okay very custom in the fact that it has a countersunk flat head because you need that for a mail slot so you get the concept here that we've got quarter 20 for a closer like a 1224 no it's not 1224 that's probably 1032 for an exit device or 1024 for an exit device you've got an 832 for a mail slot and all of these are different somehow but they're all the same thing they're all doing the same sort of job uh, whereby they are allowing something to be uh, attached to something else that needs the proper reinforcing um, and what I like about the concept of sex bolts you can take the idea of a binding post and search the internet with that term or sex bolt and you will on page one of your results find an endless amount of options so you could take this concept and sex bolt or use binding posts on anything that you happen to be doing you might have uh, you know you might have a situation where you've got hinges installed on something but the hinges have been replaced or damaged to the point where the door is compromised but you don't want to replace the door you could use sex bolts and maybe a piece of reinforcing to get that hinge reattached and keep useful service because you could have a screw in and out of a hole so many times where there's nothing left at that point so sex bolts can be used in in really any application door closers exit devices mail even mail slots can use those um, again as it pertains to our industry there's not a great amount of um, variation especially in application it's attaching hardware to something to a door typically that the substrate of the door is not reinforced or proper to screw to and you need to through bolt it or sex bolt it uh, another variation on which I don't have an example here but you'll be able to find a picture of it I'm sure is called a through bolt and grommet nut that is only different in the sense that you will have if you took this part and you kind of cut it all the way over here and then drilled and tapped a hole through it and then you had a very long bolt that would be a through bolt and grommet nut those are also uh, common uh, I like the sex bolt because of the length of the shoulder is going to prevent me from crushing in or compromising my door um, integrity and here's how you know when someone should have used a sex bolt and they used a grommet nut you have a steel door it's got a semi gloss or a gloss paint on it and you can just see how the door face is crushed in where there's a obviously a door closer on the other side you can see that deflection when they tighten it down so so tight um, sex bolts go a long way to uh, to to reducing that you might see a small amount of localized you know a concave feature to the you know right to the underside of the head you might see a little bit but you're not going to you're not going to inadvertently destroy your hardware a lot of people use screw guns to attach stuff that's fine but it's technically you know specifically not the way to attach door hardware it should be done with hand tools non-electric hand tools that pretty much covers my experience of sex bolt if you have anything to add please 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 do so it, it is definitely to the benefit of other people when there's contributions uh, onto onto the term
If you have any question on sex bolts or any other item from Architectural Builder Supply, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.